Good evening, this is Dustin Johnson, forage agronomist for the Cisco companies in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm coming to you this evening from one of my grass hay fields. It's the first week of April 2023, and I am overseeding a, a mixture of cool season grasses and bearcat medium red clover uh, with the hopes of thickening up this grass hay stand. Uh, this is an area that has taken some abuse on our farm. Uh, it is a border area from one of our fields, and it's also adjacent to a tool shed. And it's probably been in forages for about 10 years. Uh, so you can imagine it's taken a lot of wheel traffic and uh, uh, just kind of has the odds stacked against it. And, um, and the end result is that we've got some areas that are just becoming bare. Um, bare areas are primed to become uh, a weed and it absolutely aren't going to contribute to the yield that we need to fill the hay barn. And so I've got a unique opportunity with the weather window that we're currently in to spread some seed uh, broadcast and hope that we can thicken that up. Um, the window is so special because it is, uh, uh, it, it's dry enough to get across the ground, but it's still quite uh, moist on the, on the soil surface. And we've got a forecast with highs only in the 50s and 60s. And in the 10-day forecast, there's about seven chances of rain. So I think it's going to stay this way for a while, hopefully long enough to get, uh, uh, get these seeds germinated. They're laying on top of the ground. It's always a challenge to broadcast seeds and get a good stand uh, because seeds that are just laying on top of the ground are going to dry out pretty quickly when the sun comes out. And so uh, planting with a drill is usually a better method. But if you've got terrain that doesn't permit that or it's just really wet in the time frame that you need to do it, uh, broadcasting is a good uh, good choice. Now, the other thing special about this evening is that there's virtually no wind, and uh, those of you from central Indiana know that that doesn't happen very often, uh, but when we're trying to get uh, small grass seeds to, to fly out of a cone bottom spreader, uh, wind can really make for uneven application. So uh, this is just a fantastic opportunity. I hope we get some good results to share with you. Uh, the mixture that we're seeding this evening is 20 pounds to the acre of our Pasture Perfect Renovator Special Mix and 8 pounds to the acre of Bearcat Medium Red Clover. And of course those are uh, kind of round numbers, it's always a little empirical when you're using a cone bottom spreader. Uh, but the important thing is that we get some seed on these bare areas and, uh, and get something growing to make some hay instead of a weed patch. And uh, so hopefully that all, all comes to pass. Uh, the mix that I chose to use here again is the Pasture Perfect Renovator Special Mix. That's a mix of four different uh, species that are in the tall fescue and intermediate ryegrass families. We chose those because they are the highest seedling vigor uh, forages that we've got in the book. And all these seeds that are down, uh, you know, really just laying on top of the ground and getting ready to grow are going to have to compete with the grasses that are growing around them. And so we need them to get out of the ground as fast as possible and, uh, and get to growing. I would love to have some, uh, some more orchard grass or brome grass in this stand, uh, but those species are pretty slow to establish. It would not be a good choice for what we're doing uh, here this evening. Uh, looking around, we chose to add some uh, medium red clover to this stand as well, uh, because I like my grass hay and pastures to have about 30% legume. That seems to be a good level to... Uh, uh, to get the most out of the growth of our cool season grasses and it's also about right for our cattle uh, when we harvest the hay and so most of the time if you have a, a spot that needs more grasses you also need more legumes and uh, it's just a very convenient time to add some clover uh, while we're doing it so anyway um, please uh, uh, please be looking at your your stands uh, look for bare spots there's still time to do something about it this spring if you need to improve your your stands and there is a second weather window coming to do this uh, in the in the month of September uh, and then September is a little bit drier month than uh, than April uh, so I strongly recommend that you use a, a no-till drill um, if you're working to improve in that time of year um, but of course that can be very successful time to do it um, if you've got any questions uh, or uh, just like what you see, please give us a call. We'll be glad to help you uh, get some forages growing on your farm. And thanks for watching my video.